Uh, we opened up the season Saturday, and we've been at practice for about a week now, and just really excited to get the season really going, and uh, just really looking forward to the opportunity we got this year. It must be very, it must be very exciting for you to get a chance to play for your dad. Talk about a little bit of what that, what you think that's going to be like. Oh yeah, I'm really excited. You know, he's been coaching for uh, probably about 25, 26 years now, and uh, me growing up, I've been around this my whole life, and seeing all his teams, I've always wanted. to, you know, when I was younger, I always tell my mom, my dad, you know, I want, I can't wait till I'm out there playing for him. And you know, now the time's finally here, and uh, you know, it's a great playing for him. He knows my game better than anyone else in the country, and uh, you know, I just love, love the system that we're in, and uh, I got a great team behind me, and we're just gonna have a great year. Talk a little bit about your teammates. You have, you're walking into a situation where you're gonna be more or less the ringleader, but you've got some, you've got some troops behind you, right? Oh yeah. You know, this team right here, they won 20 games last year. And we have no seniors on this team. I want to say we have about six juniors. So uh, it's a great team to start with and build on. And uh, we got we got a great opportunity. We got a lot of great players. We got a lot of new faces. And uh, we come into practice every day and play it really hard. And we bring it on the court every day. So I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to get to play somebody else and see where we where really stand up. Yeah. And, and, and you, you come from a winning program at Country Day. Right. And Evan comes from a winning program. Right. And, and, and that has to add something to this mix, too, because you guys know what oh, yeah. it takes to win, maybe not on a collegiate level, but you've been successful, and that's something that you can spread to your teammates, right. too, right? Yeah, well, Evan and I, we know we won, well, Evan won three state championships. I've only won one, so I'm not even near the level as, where he is, but, um, you know, when you got guys who win state championship, and, you know, you got guys on this team who know how to win, and that's good. You know, we're two freshmen that have been on winning teams, and we can come into a program where, you know, they had a winning season last year, and just to build on top of that. Plus the guys last year winning 20 games. I mean, they know how to win, and they were in a lot of tough, tough games last year that came down to the wire. That you know, I know at least five of them that could have won. And uh, you know, this year, I think this team's better, and and uh, we're going to win those five games that they didn't, you know, that they didn't win last year. So, you know, we got a lot of great guys that you know are winners, and that's what we got to be about winning all the time. Coach had to take it easy on you guys. He's he's uh, lined up a pretty tough non-conference slate to get you ready and a lot of road games and, and, and that's going to be good for you guys down the line you, you have to think right you know the only way to get better is to play the best so you know we we open up at new mexico then we're off to syracuse so i mean those are two top 25 teams as of last year and i want to say syracuse is like top 10 this year and so and then we also got butler but that's not, not you know that's a conference game but our non-conference schedule is really going to get us prepared for the conference and you know, that's the best way to get us prepared. You know, we're going to the pit in uh, New Mexico where they have, uh, I think, like 16,000 fans, and it's going to be their opening night. And it's the same with Syracuse, it's their opening night. So it's going to be a lot of excitement at them two games. And that's a great opportunity for us, Detroit Titans, to make a statement for ourselves and our school. So and what is that statement that you guys want to make this year? Uh, that we want to make it to the NCAA tournament this year, and we want to win the Horizon League. So, you know, it, it all starts, you know, um, at that first game in New Mexico. You know, that, that's the first regular season game, and that's the time to make a point, uh, a statement to the world. And, it, and it's not a matter of being intimidated. It's a chance to embrace this opportunity, right? right. It's, it's, uh, it's, we want to show people that we can play. We want right. to show not only that Detroit can play, we want to show that the Horizon League can play. And if you all don't know it by now, there's more than one team in the Horizon League. Right. And, and, and the other teams in the league have to think, it's time for everybody to show what, what this league has. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like Butler, you know, they did a great job last year and putting Horizon League on the map. And, you know, now it's just, this is our year to, you know, to show that, you know, but what Butler did, I mean, Detroit can do the same. You know what I'm saying? They made it to the Final Four. I know we definitely got a great team. You know, we work hard. Our main goal is to get to the NCAA tournament. So we just bring it every day and just try to get there. Win or bust? You said what? Win or bust? Oh, win or bust, yeah. But, but we're winning, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>